Hello and welcome back. This is part two of my crafty haul and happy mails for August. So I've separated the two videos up. The first video is my happy mails and bits and pieces that I've brought. And this one's going to be uh, just books because <clears throat> I've had a couple of books what I've never had before and I thought it'd be nice to have a quick flip through them so this one is called a hand guide to the wild flowers of Britain and Northern Europe and it's by the Marjorie is it blamey um, and Richard Fitter Marjorie does a lot of books and um, uh, the pictures in them are normally very pretty this one's just a hand guide so it is it's not very big it's seven and a half inch by four and three quarters so it's a bit of a dingy copy i will go over it with a baby wipe and just clean it clean it up a bit um perfect sizes these are to take the book all apart and use the actual pages in a journal or to, to make little ephemera folders and things like that or individually cut things out so it looks let me just put my glasses on looks like this is the contents it's the prettiest contents page I've ever seen so it's broke it down into different varieties so yeah these would be nice used on little embellishments so there's lots of pictures like this kind of thing and then there's lots of individual pictures and there's some full um, size pictures so these would be lovely to fussy cut or you could have the whole thing and that could be like a corner talk if you back to it with some of them so I'm sure there's lots of interesting information so I like how you get some tall ones and that's a nice one so th that would make a nice notebook cover So let's flip through it. Yeah, I think this one's going to be quite handy. Again, that could be some kind of corner talk. I think this one can be used in, in lots of different ways. That's very pretty. And then if you wasn't making um, notebook covers, um, <clears throat> could back it and have this as a um, pockets or different pockets. I do that and put like vellum strips so you can still see see the picture or you can make these into small small envelopes so yeah I've seen a couple of people use this one there's a bigger book um, to this and it's going for an absolute fortune at the moment but um, I do on Amazon <clears throat> every time I see a book suggestion I do put it in my basket and keep a, keep an eye on it and when the price is full that's when I buy it I think I managed to get this for a couple of pound um, so not not a bad book at all quite like that one the next one I, I wanted this for a long long time and I know when I first looked at it it was very expensive it is a really small book at first when I was looking at it I didn't realize and then I saw somebody um, do a review on it 
and I realised it was quite small. So I think it is six by six. Oh, it's six by nearly seven. So this is Wildflowers of Britain, month by month, by Margaret Wilson. So look at that. Oh, it's just quite, quite plain. Oh, beautiful pages inside. So this is stunning. So they're all like the, the players. So I would probably cut these out and back them and have them as uh, big journal cards. But again, you could use the whole page in pages in your journal. If it was too wide, you could just fold it um, a little bit. Maybe put something down there, like a ruffle or something. I, yeah, I'm going to definitely enjoy this book. And unfortunately, there's a picture on each side, which if you was using them in a book, that would be brilliant. But um, if you was using them, you know, to cut out, then you're obviously going to going to be losing your back page so this might be one that I end up having to buy another one so I can use both sides yeah I like how the the dates are on when you can can find them as well this looks like a pretty new copy the pages are quite white but I say once you've cut them off then they look quite quite vintage oh, beautiful I like how there's lots of uh, different plants on, on each page. Oh, I'm going to so enjoy this. Stunning. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's going to be a bit hard to know which, which page to, to use. They're all beautiful. Don't know. I bet I'm guessing you could make some little kind of envelopes, just the ones that you fold fold over. Love that all the greens. So yeah, it's it's like this all the way through. So there's absolutely stacks of pages, lots of journal cards. I think I ended up getting this for eight pounds. Um, I do think it's possibly brand new. So, and it does say it's £8.99 inside. So, for £8, and that's including the postage, that's that's a bargain. So, that's that one. And obviously, it's no real fussy cutting out. It is just straight round. So, yeah, brilliant. Another one, which I've, I've ummed and ahed about, for over a year because <laughs> I didn't know if it would have plenty of pages or not. Now, I do feel like this was a programme on the TV in in England um, a few years ago. Should have probably looked at looked it up. Um, so yeah, this is called The Island, A Diary of a Year on e Edale by Gareth and Vicky Wade. Let me just have a sip of tea. So it's a really big book. It is ten and a half by eight and a half. And this is like, wow, it's, it's really good. Um... I mentioned it to Violet and Violet bought it before me and she said like, you know, you really won't be disappointed. It's very Edith, you know, modern Edith Holden. So as you can see straight away, it's got some fabulous text on it. And then it's got all these little pictures that can be fussy cut out. And obviously you can use all your nice writing in collage can even um you know make things out of out of the actual book pages 
make some pockets and, and things like that. So there's plenty uh, to fussy cut. So it obviously tells you whereabouts there was. Sorry, I'm just reading. Yeah, I think this will be a nice one to <clears throat> to actually read before um, I start, you know, using using it. So I love the the front page for for that for the month. So obviously starts off at the beginning of the year. Look at this. So yeah, loads of sketches little quotes and things very similar to to the Edith Alden yeah I, I'm gonna so enjoy this look at that it reminds me I don't know if any of you watch um, Patty Nature journaling by uh, Patty at um, Pennsylvania <coughs> um, Susie at uh, Susie's Craft Room introduced me to her channel and I so love it. Um, she lives like quite in the wilderness. Uh, she's got, got like a little house and all around it is woods and she goes out into the woods and she'll talk about the plants and the birds and then she'll go home and sketch them and write about them and and journals are absolutely beautiful. Um, I so wish I could draw and paint. Um, so yeah, maybe one day, Patty, you will be producing a book of, of your own um, sketches and, and things. So yeah, this book is fab. Yeah, the front covers are lovely for the, for the month. Little bit shiny, the pages, but I think once they've been been inked up, you could obviously tea dye them if you wanted to add that aged, aged lock march. Love the circle ones. Yeah, I need my glasses on to <laughs> to read read it. Look at that bird. Mm. That's sweet. Yeah, about violet like that. To a sleeping violet. So let's just have a oh look at this. <laughs> his face. Lakeland squirrel enjoying the tender young leaves of a beach. That's beautiful. Yeah and the price I dropped <coughs> on this as well during lockdown uh, the price went sky high. Um, so I think well I've got I've just spotted the paper here. So I paid £6.25 and that was including um, shipping so yeah very good value and I don't think this is new but it's like new uh, yeah it's really clean immaculate copy look at this so yeah you definitely would not be disappointed with with this Oh, I love that. That is stunning. Look at that. Yeah, definitely one to get. I think this will be one that I get and get. I think I will add this to my list of books that I actually want to want to own. Um and you know sit and sit and read that's fab now a few of you well whoever's been watching my <coughs> the 3 and 15 challenge um <coughs> i've been using the edith holden papers and 
I had got some scrapbook paper from about a year ago, which was a free insert in a card magazine. And I'd seen it in a Facebook group. People saying, oh, have you seen this? So I rushed out and bought a copy. Why I didn't buy two, I do not know. And you got a free um, A4 pack of different stamps uh, to ink with. And you got this, I think it was about 20 page A4 um, paper pack with Edith Alden papers. So what they've done is is broke down you know a picture and then you know, just done a full page of um you know the the same image and i've been using that for for a lot in the 3 and 15 um so i've used it now cuz i had obviously used some papers uh before i'd you know stingingly used it <clears throat> but I, you know i had been using it so it's all gone um and on, obviously you can't do everything all pieces with the pages out of Edith Alden because once you've used like the beautiful text pages up um which I love using those for envelopes and backings um you know to put on your base of a tag and then put something on the front um and I think you only really get about 20 odd f just full text pages. And then to use one of the pictures. Let me show you because I'm not. Um, so, you know, a lot of the pages in here are full pictures. So if I wanted to make... Um, you know a pocket and stuff it's it, it's going to be hard to to use use the image without some of it being upside down and and things like that and i've been saying oh wouldn't it be great if you know she did there was a paper pack um i just can't understand why nobody's whoever's got rights to it hasn't had it as a paper pack so I've kept looking and looking and looking and I stumbled and I've seen it before and not really thought too much about it um, but they do Edith Holden gift wrap um, and I didn't know it was book all I knew was it was gift wrap and when I saw it before I thought oh, well I'm going to just use you know a roller gift wrap type thing so once I realised it was an actual book, and it's massive, it's 12, probably about 14 inches by 10 inches. Can you, is this even all in frame? Um, and this is her summer meadow collection. So um, I think, I forget what company it is who, who does like the cards and stationery items of the country diary but um every year they'll have a different um main image so this one is whatever i've just said it was um and the, there's been all different sorts so i got a notelet um pack once and i've had some little gift cards once and things so they did this gift wrap book anyway <laughs> let's have a look inside so what it is is big pieces of wrap um attached all you do is is rip it out it's got a rip here yeah it, it is glossy i don't care <laughs> i'm not bothered um so now i've obviously got these as backing papers they will need um you know sticking with with card at the back to to give them some stability so i'm so excited and i think it was 10 pound um which well, I don't know, for 10 pieces of wrapping paper, I suppose it is a pound a sheet now, isn't it? Like for a nice uh, sheet of wrapping paper. 
so we've got this lovely one with the butterflies and the bees and the purple flower have used that not long ago that is one of my favorite pages in in edith old and it's all a whole page of uh, big green leaves and then bees so they are you know qu quite popular pictures in the book and then they've put them together i'm not greatly you know a lover of of how they've designed it but i'm not bothered <laughs> Uh, just to be able to have, you know, some kind of backing paper to do Edith Alden stuff is brilliant. Obviously, I can use these as covers for little notebooks and all kinds of stuff. Then I've got this beautiful purple uh, one, really muted colour. It's got the dragonflies and I forget what they're called, but uh, they grow in the meadows, don't they? So yeah, that's beautiful. And then with this one, which I adore this, and I don't, I don't mind this strip on here because it is quite, quite muted. Got some beautiful birds. Then this one, I'm not a great lover of it, but um, again, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Uh, this one, which is so cute, this will probably be the one that gets used used the quickest. But you know, this is going to last me a long, long time because I think you get two of yeah, two of each each design. And like I say, when, these are folded over twice, so it's four times as you know, four lots of these. So that's a heck of a lot of of paper and then yeah just repeating pattern and then at the back if it wasn't good enough you get all these little tags I love the circle ones so that's even fabber so yeah for anybody who is um what you know wanting some kind of backing paper to use alongside the Edith Alden book I do think this is a really good one so yeah I'm so happy <laughs> so that will go in my pile with my 3 and 15 um when I started the 3 and 15 I did show you all the fussy cuts and I had actually cut up three whole books so I'd cut up a, the normal country diary and a nature notes and a herb one. Oh, and I think I'd got part of a, a, how to create a wildlife garden as well. So I'd, I'd literally cut every book up that, that I owned. And since lockdown, the country diary in, in the UK went up to as much as £80 a book. Then it kind of came down to 60 and around 40 and then 30. It's At the moment, it's going for about 15, which it, it's still too much. If, if I was buying it as a book to read, um, yeah, well worth the money. But to cut up in projects to, to then, you know, sell in the shop... It's it's way too expensive. Um, so I have been lucky and I managed to pick one up for, I think it was between seven and eight pounds. Um, so, because when you do really go through it, when I take it apart and take out the pages what are just text because I've, I've showed you before how, how I um, take one apart and I put it into several different piles so I have one for you know which is just text one for which is full um, pictures um, I have a different folder where I'm keeping like autumn and winter ones so I keep them separate because I want to use them this autumn and winter 
Um, so yeah, once you've done that, and then cut out, I mean, you know, if you're wanting to cut them out and then save your text, there's not that many. And then there's obviously a lot of index pages at the back. Well, there isn't really, but... And I do use all the index uh, pages. They're, they're good to then, you know, stick things on top on a, a tag. But there's not as many pages as, as you first think. And that I keep all the double pages together as well in case I want to make something bigger. And then I've got the, the double pages. So I got that. And then last week, I found another seller on eBay and they were selling two for £14. So I um, bought them quickly. So I've now got three copies um, because by the time I'd cut them all out and that, I had literally used everything that I've got. Um, and I'm thinking I'm probably going to end up using another book on the 3 and 15 um so yeah I, w I won't be stocking the shop back up with the paper packs as yet because i will i do want to keep all these four four projects just in case i can't get my hands on anymore for for a while because that's what i've done because i was getting them every few weeks uh, before lockdown i was you know making envelopes out of them and putting them in the shop and paper packs and then I'd sold out of them all and I'd got no papers left uh, so I couldn't make any Edith Holden things so I am going to keep them in my personal stash so as soon as I manage to get my hands on some more reasonably priced ones I will do and I shall get them back in my shop um so this is a book <laughs> um it's not written by edith holden it's written by did i say written it's wrote by ejm warren so these are like information books and they just use some of the illustrations from the country diary and there's a lot in in these series is like I say I've had the herb one I've had creating um a something else garden there's the butterfly one there's a bird one and I think there's a couple more I've not had the bird one uh, I have been trying to well I keep pin my eye on the price um because I won't mind a look in the bird one so in here, I'm not a great lover of um, actual photographs. Um, I don't know why. It's funny, when, when I see flip-throughs where people have used um, real-life photos, I always think, oh, don't they mix in nice with the illustrations? But I just personally don't like using them. So we've got a few quotey things there, what can be cut out. Um, that one, I've just showed you that in the other book. In the normal book, this is over a two spread. And that's why I like getting these books, because you get the same images, but they can be shrunk down or just parts of the image. So it's as if you've got lots more different images, but it's just a different combination of... So, yeah, there's lots of... And I do find these under for, you know, just just little bits of decoration and stuff. It's so like I say, in the actual Edith Olden book, there's more full page illustrations than bits and bobs. And obviously you want the bits and bobs for embellishing. That's the same as the wrapping paper um, image. So that's a shrunk down version to, to the original in the book. So these ones, I will take these out and put them 
in my stash of um, paper, well, what I do, the paper packs in my shop. That's a nice one. And we've got the classic Fox glove one, so it's always nice to have extras of that because I'm sure it's one of most people's favourite one. It is one of my favourites. So yeah, this this was only, I don't know, about four four pound. So for the amount of stuff that you can actually get out of it, um, if you want in the small images, I do think that it's not a bad price to pay. So yeah, there's obviously lots of butterflies in this one because it's a butterfly book. And again, I'm sure it's a very interesting one uh, to read. See, that's a nice one. And that's a full uh, page one in, in the original book. So that's nice to have that one small. So yeah, lots of just little bits all, all dotted around everywhere. And then towards the back it is more... Uh, garden plans and and information and things so yeah if you're looking for small things to cut out Edith Holden these type of books are very good um when I add this one I thought it was the nature notes um because there's the Edith Holden the country diary and then there's the nature notes um which has got totally different pictures um it was you know wrote uh i think it was after the country diary and the pictures are as beautiful as but it's a different kind of text that one's normally more more expensive and harder to get get your hands on um i'm guessing they just didn't make as as many or something so i thought that was this but but it's not it's a bit similar to to this kind of thing that it's got the pictures from nature notes but it's more uh, an information well it's a diary as such um but yeah there's a lot of the full page images and a lot of images that you can cut out and each month it's still got the the front cover of of each of the the months which is really handy because i do like them at the front of file folders i've used those quite quite a few times um at the beginning of the year i think i started from january and i did through to um may i did one for for every month so i do i've got an idea how to use these well, really, just doing them on giant, um, like, journal cards. Having them as more a, a writing board. So, a lot of it is is these. And then it's obviously took extracts from the book and wrote them, wrote them down. Um, I don't think I'd want to cut into these just to get the little little bits um i know violet had one of these type of books and she made envelopes out of that and then just decorated them them up a bit but yeah i do think these would be nice as um maybe put coffee stain paper on that side and um have them folded up in in a pocket in in a journal so i think it's pretty much like that all the way through apart from you know the cover cover photo so yeah it's not what i thought it was but i do think it's something something else nice to have so that that is my books mainly edith olden but um yeah these two definite um ones to ones to have if you've not had them already but um i just keep an eye on prices and and just get them when when they come down in price 
so that is me and this was my august um haul so i shall see you next week for more 3 and 15 and should be hopefully finishing the lilac and lavender and doing a flip through of all the things that i've made before they go up in etsy so thanks for watching and i shall speak to you soon bye for now